Good morning. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. Um, today is Thursday, May the 13th. Looking at a chart here of the um, the dollar yen, uh, getting right into the technicals. During the past 10 bars, there have been five white up candles and four black down candles for a net of one white up candle. During the past 50 bars, there have been 30 white up candles and 16 black down candles for a net of 14 white candles. Currently, the market pulse is positive since it's trading above its signal line. The pulse scan crossed above the swing VIX one period ago, which would have been uh, as of the day before yesterday. All right, uh, looking at long and short entries. Uh, we have a long uh, breakout buy at 93.39 with an initial target of 94.52 and a stop and reverse at 92.24. Um, we have a second breakout uh, long entry at 94.98 and we will let that profit target run uh, well into the 95.96 area with a stop and reverse at 92.24. On the short side, we have a short sell, uh, our first volatility breakout, our first pulse wave sell is at 91.96, initial target 91.20, stop and reverse at 93.48, and our second wave, if we break that uh, support and, then we, get, and we hit target on the first trade, uh, we're going to look to get short again at 88.23 and let the profits on that one run well until we get to probably 85 with the stop and reverse at 93.48 alright uh, the trend channel is up this means that positive momentum is entering the market we expect sideways to higher prices within the next three to five days um, the last signal was an overbought sell six periods ago the swing VIX does not currently show any failure swings and the swing VIX and price are not diverging. Since the swing VIX cross is moving average, the dollar yen price has increased 0.08% and has ranged from a high of 93.38 to a low of 92.20. Currently, the trend is up. The market condition is very bullish. The dollar yen is trading well above the long term, intermediate, and short term moving averages. As for volatility, uh, concerns. Uh, the dollar yen closed above the lower band by 48.6 percent, leaving 33.25 percent wider than normal range. So we have a neutral reading here on the volatility. All right, moving right along here, you're looking at a chart of the uh, the euro, euro dollar currency pair here. Uh, the um, during the past 10 bars, there have been four white up candles and five black down candles for a net of one black down candle. During the past 50 bars, there have been 20 white up uh, candles and 29 black down candles for a net of nine black down candles. A spinning top occurred. A spinning top is a candle with a small real body. Spinning tops identify a session in which there is little price action as defined by the difference between the open and the close. During a rally or near highs, a spinning top can be a sign that prices are losing momentum and the bulls may be in trouble. Switching our focus to the swing VIX. Uh, currently, the market pulse is negative since it's trading below its signal line. The pulse can cross above the swing VIX three periods ago. Long and short entries. A buy at 130.93 letting profits run a little bit until we get to at least maybe 132 or 133. Stop and reverse at 125.72. As for the short side, uh, currently the system is holding a short from 127.84. Uh, for new shorts, we're looking to get short again at 125.23. Profit target initially is 124.06 with the stop and reverse at 127.71. Uh, the trend channel is up, hence these blue bars. Blue bars is a positive uh, pulse and the red bars is a negative pulse. So that's what those blue and red bars mean. Uh, the trend channel is up. This means that positive momentum is entering the market. 
We expect sideways to higher prices within the next three to five days. Uh, the swing VIX is not currently in a topping or bottoming pattern. The last signal was an oversold buy 67 periods ago. Uh, the swing VIX just reached its highest value in the last 14 periods. This is bullish. The swing VIX has set a new 14 period high while the securities price is not. This is a bullish divergence. The security price has set a new 14 period low while the swing VIX has not. This is a bullish divergence. Since the swing VIX cross is moving average, uh, the euro dollar's price has decreased 1.49% and has ranged from a high of 130.93 to a low of 126.05. Currently, the trend is very, uh, very bearish and pointing downward, and the market condition is also very bearish, trading well below the long term, intermediate, and short term moving averages. As far as volatility, uh, the euro dollar closed above the lower band by 12.3% leaving 127.56% wider than normal range. The large width of the band suggests high volatility as compared to the euro dollar's normal range. Therefore, the probability of volatility decreasing and prices entering or remaining in a trading range has increased for the near term. Uh, the bands have been in this wide range for eight periods. The probability of price consolidation into a less volatile trading range increases the longer the bands remain in this range. In other words, uh, we don't expect a lot of movement until we get closer to the uh, acceleration or breakdown points for this particular market. Alright, switching our focus now to the uh, Australian dollar. Uh, during the past 10 bars there have been four white up candles and five black down candles for a net of one black down candle. During the past 50 bars, there have been 24 white up candles and 24 black down candles. Uh, the, currently, the market pulse is negative since it's trading below its signal line. The pulse scan crossed above the swing VIX two periods ago. Long and short entries. Uh, we have a uh, possible bullish consolidation breakout entry recommendation at 90.68 with an initial target of 91.13. Stop and reverse is at 88.65. Um, we also have a, uh, a second possible breakout target. Basically, the, the way the market's been consolidating, it's moving the first and second pulse waves very close together. So the second buy pulse wave is at 90.76. Initial profit target, the same, 91.13. Uh, stop and reverse is also the same at 88.65. Um, we have a, um, a secondary short entry, meaning that the um, the first pulse pulse wave on the short was filled um, yesterday at 89.46. So the system's holding that short. For new shorts, you're going to want to get short at 88.65. Initial profit target 87.53, with the stop and reverse at 90.01. Uh, secondary breakdown target is at 87.16 to get short with an initial profit target open meaning we're going to let the profits run on that one see if we can get down to 85 and then the stop and reverse will be at 90.01 um, the trend channel uh, is up so this means that positive momentum is entering the market we expect sideways to higher prices within the next three to five days uh, the last signal was an oversold buy 97 periods ago. The swing VIX does not currently show any failure swings, and the swing VIX and price are not diverging. Since the swing VIX crossed its moving average, the Australian dollar's price has decreased 0.73% and has ranged from a high of 90.76 to a low of 88.88. Currently, the trend is bullish, but in, in a bullish retracement, and the current market condition is mildly bullish. Um, the Australian dollar is currently above its long-term period moving average but below its intermediate and short-term moving averages. Taking a look at volatility, the Australian dollar closed above the lower band by 18.8%, leaving 45.90% wider than normal range. The large width of the band suggests high volatility as compared to the Australian dollar's normal range. 
Therefore, the probability of volatility decreasing in prices entering or remaining in a trading range has increased for the near term. The bands have been in this wide range for four periods. The probability of prices consolidating into a less volatile trading range increases the longer the bands remain in this wide range.